publish 0651 est the 5th of December 2017 updated 1731 est the 5th of December 2017 Maro Itoje faces a race against time to be fit for the Six Nations after it was confirmed the England star had fractured his jaw the Saracens lock 23 could be out for a couple of months throwing his involvement in next year's championship into serious doubt England opened their Six Nations campaign on February 4 against Italy in Rome and Itoje would do well to make that match. England star Maro Itoje is a doubt for the Six Nations after suffering a fractured jaw. Itoje suffered the jaw injury during Saracen's defeat to Harlequins at the weekend as a guide. Anthony Watson suffered a similar blow last season. He fractured his jaw in early October 2016 and returned in January, spending the best part of three months out. Itoje's injury was confirmed on Tuesday after he had seen a specialist. The World Player of the Year nominee will see a second expert on Thursday who will establish how long he will be out for. If the news of Itoje's knock, suffered in Saracen's 2019 defeat to Harlequins on Sunday, is a blow for England it is even more pertinent for the European champions. Saracens now go into a Champions Cup home and away doubleheader against Clermont Auvergne over the next two weekends without one of their best players, they are also on a run of five consecutive defeats in all competitions, their worst run for ten years, and still await the return of Billy Vunapola who has been out since September with a knee injury. While Itoje's injury may worry Eddie Jones he will be delighted that Manu Tuyalagi is set to complete his latest comeback. Itoje was a star of the British and Irish Lions series in New Zealand back in the summer Leicester Tigers have been handed an early Christmas present, with their powerhouse centre ready to return. Tuyalagi tore the cartilage in his knee in September and has since seen a witch doctor in his native Samoa, who he claims has banished three lady spirits who were apparently causing his injury strife, but the 26-year-old is back in training, and Leicester head coach Matt O'Connor said could even feature this weekend away at Munster, but if not he will definitely play before Christmas. A fully fit man who is the best 13 in the world, he said, he is a different level. He is special. Will be involved in the next couple of weeks for sure, there is no such thing as slow and steady with Manu. I have never seen him slow and steady, he doesn't do that very well I Toje is also set to miss a number of important matches. For his club Saracens, with a game of this magnitude we are weighing up whether we can fit him in the 23 or not. When he is good to go we will put him out there. He has worked incredibly hard, he has been in rehab for a long period of time but when he comes back and plays aerobically he is really good, it has been a challenge and it is particularly tough for Manu because he enjoys everything that we do, there is nothing we do in the training environment that he does not absolutely adore and put 100% effort into. He enjoys being around the lads, the isolation of rehab and the mundane nature of hard work without any crack, without any ball in hand is hard. It has been a long time. He wants to put all that behind him and get back with the lads. That's what Manu enjoys doing, with the witch doctor's help we are past this and can all enjoy him around and playing good footy, Gloucester meanwhile is spending £1 million to install a new pitch at King's home for next season, the same artificial grass hybrid surface that Real Madrid use at their training ground. And Joe Launchbury has signed a new deal at Wasps, the captain has extended his contract which was set to end this summer.